Ebesit Kata, etwa Ost. Maras Kata! Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. That should give us more time. I suspect you have questions. The Kunari answered some of those questions. The information I found while traveling through the Alluvians answered more. You're Fenharel. You're the Dreadwolf. Well done. I was Solus first. Fenharel came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dreadwolf inspired hope in my friends and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. And now you know. What is the old Baelish curse? May the Dread Wolf take you? And so he did. I did not. I would not lay with you under false pretenses. But you lied to me. I loved you. Did you really think I wouldn't have understood? Here, Abelas, Fernan. Tell Abelas. If you care, give me the truth. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fenharel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. Uh, how did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Via Dathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade. All destroyed. Your legends are half right. We were immortal. It was not the arrival of humans that caused us to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the Elves, even themselves. You love the Fade. Why would you create the Veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the Veil, the Evanuris would have destroyed the entire world. The Evanuris were Elven Mages. How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders. Then kings. Finally gods. The Avenuris. You said that the Elven Gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithal. <laughs> a crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanuris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. You banished the False Gods. You didn't kill them. You met Mithal, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. 
I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Why does this world have to die for the Elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this. But the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition. Your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization, and now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep? The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body? Who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Kunari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kuhn. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. I guess we owe you for that one too. I hope it gives your people some final peace. The Kunari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fenharel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died, and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the veil, wouldn't the False Gods be freed? I had plans. I never thought of you as someone who would do that, sir. Thank you. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. You control the Illuvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the Labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her. But he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canaris stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Illuvians are now mine. There's still the matter of the Anchor. It's getting worse. I know, Venan. And we are running out of time. <coughs> the Mark will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. Solus. I wish it could, Venom. <laughs> My love. I will never.
never forget you. Be done, but we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Konari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, you would not be alive to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. Inquisitor. You all know what this is? A writ. From Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. We have fulfilled that pledge. And now the war is over. For most of us. It is time for our soldiers to sheathe their swords and go home. To all who served, thank you. It has been an honor. Effective immediately, the Inquisition is disbanded.
agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. <sighs> we will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself. If we can.